Now we'll see how to find the classes in ammonia molecule. Actually, it will provide a way to simplify the expression of all the symmetry operations in a group. So the uh, symmetry operations of group are combined through some related operations in the class. So before going to the class, we will see about similarity transformation and conjugate. Suppose if A and B are two elements in a group and X is an any element in this group and if X inverse A, X is equal to B, then the relationship of A and B is similarity transformation and A and B are conjugates. So it has, the conjugate elements have three properties. The first one is every element is conjugate with it, it's itself. That is x inverse a, x is equal to a. Second property is if a is conjugate with b, then b is conjugate with a. That is x inverse a, x is equal to b. If that is the case, y inverse b, y is equal to a. Third one is if a is conjugate with b and c, then b is conjugate with c. That is a is equal to x inverse bx. And if A also can be equal to Y inverse C into Y, then B is equal to Z inverse C into Z. So these are all the properties. So the, a class of a group is defined as all the elements in the group that are conjugated to each other. So to de determine the class of the group, you have to apply the similarity transformation to the elements in the group until all the elements are grouped into smaller sets. In addition, the order of a group can be shown to be an integral multiple of number of elements in the class of the group. So now if you, if you take an ammonia molecule, it is NH3, it is a not planar and it has six elements in a group. That is the identity element and C3 rotation that is 120 degree rotation and C3 2 that is 240 rotation and sigma plane along sigma V along H1 and N sigma V prime along uh, N and N with H3 and sigma V double prime along N and H2. Okay, so we have uh, identity element because we need for group we need a identity and C3 and C3 2 and sigma V, sigma V prime, sigma V double prime. So six elements in the group. And uh, in all the cases group, group multiplication is very important. And if you take two operations in a group, in a group A, B is not equal to B, A because A is a different operation and B is a different operation. It's not a number, it's an operation. So if you take A, B, the operation B is performed followed by A. So if you take sigma V and C3, then if you take an ammonia molecule, first if you take C3 rotation operation, then it is changed into this way that is H3, H1 and H2. Now if you perform sigma V along N and H3 then you can get it is H3, H2, H1 and this is the case. Similarly if you start from here and if you apply sigma V double prime you can get this. So sigma V and C3 is equal to sigma V double prime. Similarly, if you do it for all the cases, then you can get the group multiplication table. The previous case we have seen, no? Similarly, if you do it for all the multiplication, we can fill it this way. So from this table, we can find out what is the inverse of each molecule. So if you, uh, that is, in a group A into A inverse is e, the identity. So from this table, we can find out C3 into C3 squared is equal to E. So from that, we can say C3 inverse is nothing but C3 squared. 
Similarly, C3 squared into C3 is E. So, C3 squared inverse is nothing but your C3. And sigma V and sigma V is E. So, inverse of sigma V is sigma V itself. Similarly, for sigma V prime and sigma V double prime, the inverse is itself. So, you can use all these as X and X inverse. Then you can have C3 inverse sigma v c3 is equal to that is from the table itself you can find out instead of c3 inverse you can say c3 squared and c3 squared sigma v c3 <coughs> if you uh, take the table sigma v c3 is nothing but sigma v double prime and c3 squared and sigma v double prime from the table is it is sigma v prime so from this we can say it is sigma v and sigma v prime are conjugate. Similarly, if you do it for sigma v prime, we can end up with sigma v double prime. So it is sigma v prime and sigma v double prime are conjugate. So from using the third property of conjugate elements, we can say sigma v and sigma v double prime are conjugate. So from this sigma v, sigma v prime, sigma v double prime forms a class. In addition, the order of the group here, the order of the group is 6, can be shown to be an integral multiple of number of elements in the class of the group. Here, the number of elements is 6. So, it is an integral value, it is 2. Similarly, if you do it for C3, and also, uh, e is always a class for any point group because x inverse E, x is equal to E. So, uh, if you do it for C3 and we can, if you use since the x is sigma V, we end up with C3 squared. So, C3 and C3 squared are conjugate. So, we can say C3 and C3 squared forms a class. Here also, the order of the group is 6. And the number of elements in the class is 2. So, the order of group is the integral multiple of number of elements in the class of a group. So, these are all the different similarity transformation which change E into E and C3 into uh, C3 and C3 squared. Sigma V, Sigma V prime, Sigma V double prime as a class. So, the operation in the same class are called equivalent operation. A class of a symmetry of group is a group of equivalent operations. So, this gives a simple way to express the operation in the group. In the previous case, we have, we have taken that NH3 is a six order group. So, that is the, now reduced into a three word. Uh, <laughs> three order that is you can take it's a class E and uh, the new notation is for class E it is E for C3 and C3 squared it is 2 C3 squared and sigma V sigma V prime sigma V double prime it is 3 sigma V prime. So by this way how to find out the classes in uh, classes here we have discussed about harmonium molecule. Thank you.